Welcome back to daytime. With me right now is Botanical Art Instructor, internationally known, I should add, Carrie Weller joins us. And we just found out today, which is really exciting, that Carrie is going to be featured in the Fine Art Connoisseur, which is, and that's her art piece right there, which is a magazine, and you're going to be featured. Congratulations and <laughs> welcome to daytime. Yeah, that's really you, exciting. Catherine. I'm going to put that down here just in case the camera can pick that up. I think for some people at home, they might not know what, what that means, botanical art. Okay, good question. So what is botanical art? Botanical art is just a fancy word for saying uh, art of the plant world. Um, generally, I, I have an example here of a traditional uh, piece, botanical artwork. Um, generally, they're uh, works that are done in traditional fine art mediums, which would be pencil, watercolor, oil, um, acrylic, uh, printmaking, pen and ink, uh, but all the work is done by hand and is not interpretive floral work. The uh, work has to be identifiable as a certain plant. For example, here I brought in one of the irises from my garden. Uh, it's a, a tall bearded uh, German iris, Irish Germanica. Okay. So a botanical artwork has to be able to identify exactly uh, the genus and species of okay, the plant. Okay, so it's not so much I don't want to say it's not so much imagination, but you're trying to draw to create the real deal. Absolutely. Absolutely. And there are uh, fairly um, strict parameters for people who do practice botanical art and that it has to be accurate in terms of uh, form, structure, uh, the plant's characteristics. Uh, it has to be accurate in terms of color. Uh, and also, you know, on top of that, you layer in composition, you layer in artistry, you layer in personal voice and um, it gives a great variety and richness to the entire genre. I found it interesting that you are really the one that's brought this botanical art to Ottawa. Yes, indeed. Uh, I was very uh, grateful to the Nepean Visual Arts Center and um, they uh, have been offering botanical art classes since 2006. Uh, I approached them about, you know, hey, can I teach painting and drawing plants? Uh, Corey Keeville, who is the visual arts programmer, said yes. Uh, my first class with three students. Wow. And um, I think at the end of 10 weeks, they had a crash course in drawing plants, uh, painting plants in watercolor. Um, two, I don't think ever returned to um, doing uh, <laughs> painting plants, but uh, certainly one uh, woman, uh, Cecilia Martin, uh, stuck with the genre and has uh, been uh, integral to the formation of the Ottawa Society of Botanical Art. Very interesting, and I'm sure that now it's far more than three students in your class. Oh yeah, my classes are full, and uh, I have wait lists, and um, we have over 30 members now in the Ottawa Society of Botanical Artists, which was formed uh, from, from a core group of my students. And you are a chair for Art of the Plant, is that correct? Yes, it's, uh, I'm chair of a um, exhibition, a national juried exhibition that will be hosted at the Canadian uh, Museum of Nature, May 2018. And uh, it is an exhibition that features native plants of Canada. Yes. Uh, I'm the chair, I have a fantastic team uh, right across the country of uh, botanical artists. Um, two great advisors, uh, Margaret Best, who is uh, one of Canada's greats in the botanical art world today. And uh, Myra Sooks, uh, who's, who's a board member of the American Society of Botanical Artists, but fabulous team, coast to coast, hundreds of artists in the country right now going out uh, looking for a native plants to, uh, to paint um, for the exhibition at the Museum of Nature. Really beautiful. And I know that you, you brought this along mm -hmm. with you, but you also brought some demonstrations as to how, how, what the process is like. Is that correct? Yes, Let's absolutely. Let's show everybody at home how that works. Okay, so first off, the first thing I have my students do, often they bring in plants from their garden that they've been growing themselves, is I get them to put a little backdrop behind. So now it's much easier to see how we can oh, go from yes. here to here. So uh, smart. I'll take that down. Of course. Yes. So to be a good artist, you need to be able to draw very, very well. Um, and this is just a quick snapshot of what I uh, uh, teach in my classes. Um, it, as a botanical artist, it's a great discipline uh, for becoming an artist because you need to be able to draw accurately. Uh, you need to develop the ability to see visually. So very accurate drawing on a scale of uh, one to one uh, with the iris flower here, it's from my garden. But then as an artist, uh, to move into painting, you need to be able to see shapes. Okay. 
Uh, and here would be an example of seeing visually, seeing the shape, forget the details, just the, the shape shapes. Of the uh, you do need to be able to see the shape of what, what you're painting. The same holds true for portrait painting. Uh, and then here, um, translating um, into tonal values. Where are the darks? Where are the lights? Where are the mid values? So you need very, very good drawing skills um, as an artist. Mm -hmm. Certainly in the botanical art genre uh, is one way to quickly develop strong core art fundamentals which can spill over into landscape painting, portrait painting, Beautiful. whatever. So once you've got your drawing nailed down, uh, you've worked out all of your problems, um, you can start painting. And I just did this quick little demo of uh, steps in a watercolor painting. So what we do very often in uh, uh, botanical art, the colors have to be accurate. So we'll make up color cards, we'll mix colors. And, and you we put the close to it to make sure yes. that it's interesting. Yeah. So color accuracy is very, very important. Um, with watercolor, we sorted all our drawing problems out. Now all we're left with is technique in the arena of color. How do we put the paint on the paper? You know, how do we get the richness of color? And watercolor, you very much layer um, color, starting very light, uh, getting darker and darker, and then getting more and more wow. detailed. You know what, there, we could have had a conversation for a whole <laughs> hour because yes. there's so much beautiful <laughs> things. Definitely if you want more information about Carrie's art and about things that are happening, you go to CarrieWeller.com. Thanks for watching. See you next time.